Um, well, I was wondering why you were, is why someone was saying, oh, hey, they're uh, singing to a song. Um, that's not what you were supposed to listen to. Well, that's going to demonetize my fucking YouTube now. Great. Not that it was monetized in the first place, but I mean, I already have a strike because of that uh, Halloween viewing party I had. Uh, eh, that's the music you're supposed to listen to. No, thanks for letting me know. Otherwise, it, it would have just kept going. Are you drawing because of that one Twitter artist who did a great Miss Piggy and Kermit? Sort of. Kind of inspired me to do it. Yeah. Can't you just edit out in YouTube version? It's already being uploaded. It's already live on YouTube. In fact, let me see if I already got a email about it. YouTubes are frickin' vultures. I wish that I could play the music that I'm listening to, but again, it, it just comes down to... Like, even Twitch will get on my ass about it. They, they, will, uh, they will be as vicious as YouTube about music that you play. my favorite Muppet movie. Gosh, what is my favorite Muppet movie? Um, I like A Christmas Carol. That was really good. I've been wanting to watch that just because it's, uh, just because it's, uh, getting close to the holiday season. I need to watch all the, uh, Christmas stuff that I need to watch, so...
A lot of people didn't like uh, Muppets in Space, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. Good work on Lucas. Thank you so much, stuff. Glad someone watched them. new Sesame Street documentary is that on HBO Max now I don't even know Glad you liked it. I have absolutely no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> I I don't even know what that is, but okay. I, I, to be honest, I don't know, and I don't remember a ton of shit that was on Newgrounds. I didn't even watch anything that was on Newgrounds. I just posted my own stuff. And I know that a lot of people that were there didn't want me to be a part of their group, so I just kind of, like, I just kind of ignored it, I guess, and, and... So, you know, whatever. We all want to be, we all want to fit into something, but, you know, something, some things are not worth it. Sometimes we learn that too late, that's all. I don't know who Brian... I don't know who... What the hell is... Am I supposed to know this person? I don't know who they are. Um, 
Thank you, Brad Anders, for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, what the hell was happening there? My my webcam is not capturing me very well. <laughs> All right, cool. in space Let's see if I can find oh wow that's way different than what I thought it looked like to attempt to do some shopping tomorrow. Um, oh, who knows? I also need to get new blankets for my cats. Um, one that I, uh, one that I gave Mooney, suddenly became very stinky. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened to it, um, but I put it in the wash, and it completely fell apart. And it's not a good blanket. Um, so. Hi, Fox. Drawing the... Drawing me as a goth? Oh, God. I mean, I could, but... God, that brings back a lot of memories. 
the the one day I attempted to be goth. Yeah, it didn't last. <laughs> it was in high school. And um, I tried. And it re I just really could not pull it off. Because I was, uh, I was too... I don't know. I don't. I, I. I'm too. I'm too white bread. Like I'm too. Uh, Yeah, I guess that's probably about as far as I went. I don't know how, like... It was like beginner's goth. And even then, I just felt like, eh... Bones are white. What? I mean, I could draw the, the bear. I, I, I'll probably do that, to see how that looks. Have you gotten to work with Matt Danner? I haven't worked with him. Honestly, I don't want to talk about other people in the industry. I really don't. I think that's kind of a dangerous line of, of privacy. Um, I will say that Matt is a wonderful person. I have not worked with him, but he is a really nice dude. And um, I really highly respect him. Um, and he's done a lot of amazing work. So I, I do know Matt, um, and that's about as far as I'm going to discuss about other people that I, I, you know, are in the industry. Thank you for the follow. I just hope you understand that kind of need for privacy on certain things because I've gotten a lot of people who have um, come to me asking me to tell other artists to do something and I'm like there I am in no position to your oh, first off you are in no position to tell me what to tell other artists uh, and, and what makes you think that I have any position to tell what other artists what to do. Like, there's this guy who, um, who I will ne leave nameless, who has been pestering and harassing a lot of the staff um, at Looney Tunes. And they will constantly badger uh, um, all of the artists for uh, production art. Which, honestly, you don't do that. Don't ask for. Don't ask artists that you know that are working in the industry for production art. It is not. It is not for you to to tell others what is needed to be revealed. Um, a lot of a lot of artists will show off their artwork and work that they've done after a show has been released to show to honestly promote not only themselves but the the uh, the show that they worked on and um, that's their prerogative you know what I mean but if someone like posts uh, if someone posts like a you know like, like what I do is I, I post like a little clip of the storyboard animatic that I've done for an episode that I I boarded 
I'm really proud of that. So I will show that off. If someone asks me for the entire episode, I will I will most most likely deny you of any of that. Um because I I because it's not up to me to show you all of something that is, you know, out there. I'm I'm merely there to promote the show to people who who, you know, we we need people to watch it. We need people to actually go to the source and watch the show at the source. That's why we're promoting it. That's we're we're really the only people who are promoting the show that we worked on, which kind of sucks, but you know, that's what happens. Um outside of that, like you know, when another artist who does character design you know, posts a turnaround of a character, that's production art. And it's up, that's, that's their prerogative to post that work to promote themselves, like their work and the work that they've done on the show. If you ask them for more production artwork and they've blocked you, do not go to the, the next uh, person who's worked with them to ask them to unblock you or ask them to give you uh, uh, the thing that they, they didn't want you to have. That's happened a few times. And some people just don't take no for an answer. It's, it's very, very, very awkward. And, um, and then also they take it personally. They, they're just like, oh, I, I can't believe they're so mean to us, the fans. And it's like, listen, yeah, your fans, your your consumers, we do not owe you anything. We do not owe you like we we've already given you a show to watch and enjoy. Please enjoy it. You're only making it worse for for yourselves uh, to to continue to demand stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot it's it's a lot of social boundaries. Yeah, some some people just don't and you know, maybe maybe I take it down uh it, it's it comes down to maybe they're really young. Um, I figure at a certain age, you you kind of need to learn <laughs> to take no as an answer. Um, so, you know. Sometimes it's, I, I feel like it's difficult for some people. Oh, wait, what, what did you ask? Sorry if I missed it. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> age being birth. Come on, I mean, I, even, even like kids at an age six, it's like you can't, you can't expect them to understand certain boundaries. Uh, kind of my own universe, I'm developing the story stuff. Basically, for a universe, each furry character has a superpower. If you have to pick a superpower for your RCs, what superpowers would you give them? Uh, I've always been really... Um, into electric powers, like, you know, like, uh, like static shock, um,
I made a, uh, a character when I was a kid called Captain Electric. And I don't really, I didn't really do much with the character. Um, oh, thank you for the follow, Lilac Phoenix. Volta Bear. <laughs> An example of electric powers that have been in the movie there like well like it's like stack shock I mean that's uh that's an example I can't remember if if that's where that idea stemmed from I feel like I, pr I probably got really inspired by that show I actually really like static shock I thought that was one of the the best original superhero cartoons of uh, of the time. Um, also elastic powers are pretty cool, um, but I wouldn't give that to Cody. I, I really wouldn't make a stretchy pair, per se. I'd probably give that to, to Miranda or something. Miranda seems to be more the kind that would, that would be more adaptive to stretching and so on. She's already pretty damn tall. Um, Jasmine and Sugarberry. Um, I'm wondering now. You kind of made me think now what kind of powers I could have. I want to kind of be a little original. I almost feel like, well, with the same with thing with Captain Electric. Ooh, actually, that's not not a bad idea. Um, with the the whole Captain Electric idea, I had like a romance element to it where there were two other super heroines that were like kind of battling for his affection. Um, and they were they were much like Fire and Ice from DC Comics. So maybe Jasmine can have like icy powers and Sugarberry could have fire powers. You know. Just just thinking off the top of my head probably would be more fitting I probably could draw that, actually. I'd, I'd um, if if we were like super powered um, furries. <laughs> it's weird because like I don't. I'm not. It's weird. I I, I honestly feel like. When it comes to superhero stuff, I kind of want that detached from the whole furry thing. I, I, I honestly feel like if you're going to do a superhero thing, maybe you could have some like furry characters in it and that's like their power. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's it could be done. It's just not something I've ever really thought of myself. And I think there have been comics done like that, but it's... I haven't seen it, but I know there is one, and it's, you know... Oh, that's cool. No. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff, too. That's cool.
All right. There, I did go. I, d I did goth uh, Miss Piggy. Now I can say I did it, and I can probably move on. Because <laughs> it was it was going to happen eventually, anyhow. And and probably Frank Oz is pissed off with me, but you know what? What doesn't piss off Frank Oz these days? Twitch boy, J. McGee, thank you so much. Appreciate that. I mean, to be quite honest, a lot of things spurred this, so don't... It's... But I'd be lying if if that didn't create the push. No, that's not Frank Oz. <laughs> I don't think he... I, he's not the, the giant turtle from Never Ending Story. I forgot who was, though. Someone told me. favorite things that you like to draw? How do you get into furry stuff? Um, I got into furry stuff, like, when I was pretty young. Um, I mean, I guess I kind of really got into it when I was reading Gold Digger. And then I just kind of fell into the the whole community aspect of it. And I, and I got to know a little bit more Um, oh yeah, 
feel like I, I feel like I drew her once though, and I probably didn't. Hmm. Um, what was I gonna do next? Oh yeah, yeah. Some folks wanted to see me draw Cody all gothed up, so let's do that. It's was it the old thing that he made? Like, like, because honestly, given the fact that he was he did it himself, I think that's pretty impressive. And on programs that I, I honestly, first off, never heard of, but they can they couldn't have been easy to work with. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I tried to mute, but I couldn't and I fast enough. Goody.
How often you go to Disneyland? Um, I've gone at least once a month. Um, because I got like a, 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 a dream key pass. It's getting really difficult to, um, to get days to go now because every day seems to be booked up until March now. And it's, uh, yeah, it, you can't be spontaneous, and it's probably going to be even worse, um, given the Omicron variant, um, so, uh, ugh. So I live in Florida? No. Hell no. I live in California. I feel like Sugarberry would have been the one to to paint his nails. They probably would both encourage it. <laughs> they probably like would have hijacked him in like one night and just overtook and started clothing him.
<laughs> just realized the look that my avatar was giving <laughs> while I was drawing this. It looked like, oh yeah, smooth. Do I still get enjoyment from making downloadable comment? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm just... I'm, I'm kind of, like... A little burnt out. Um, because I've been working on it for, like, all year. So, I'm kind of just taking the break before I, I start it up again. Um... So, you know. I mean, I'm glad people have been enjoying it, for the most part. I mean, I don't... I don't necessarily think it's it's growing traction, but you know, I still need to still a lot of stuff I'd love to do with it. Anyway, here's Goth Cody. Yeah, my avatar. <laughs> Cody, Jasmine, Sugar Bear ever going to make an appearance in DLC? No. Um, they're kind of separate entities. I, I kind of decided that I'm, I'm going to like... I'm going to make it like a separate thing. Um, because I, I don't know. I, I They probably could cross paths, but at the same time, it's like I don't, I don't really want it to... And they're not in the same universe. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you glad you like. Um uh, Yeah, I, I wanted to actually do a comic with these three, um, like how they met. Um, I'm kind of... I'm stuck on it. Like, I feel like maybe I should just do it and not worry about how to look. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like I, I really do want to make that comic with them. It's just, you know... It's just taking a while to, to get that push, you know? Uh, let's see. Okay, um, I'm probably going to finish up. Um, uh, I thank you all for coming today and uh watching me draw um i know it's been a while since i've streamed and i cannot tell you <laughs> when and if i will i will stream again but i i just kind of am doing my own thing and um yeah uh we'll, we'll see how things go thank you so much everyone have a good night and be well